Okay, getting ready to start part six here, and what I'm going to be doing today is cutting the slots in the body and cutting the tabs on the fins to fit into those slots. If you remember in the last series, I told you about the mistake that I made and that the body slightly curved, so that slot will be slightly curved, but I cut the fin straight. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it close and then I will go in and I'll steam this and bend it slightly to, to fit that. It, it'll probably fit. The, the anal fin may have enough. It's just a, a slighter curve. So it may fit. I'm going to try it. And then uh, I'll be cutting the rest of the fins apart and creating the tabs for the body also so uh, I may also start burning scales in this one uh, it just depends on how long this goes and um, I may at least draw the pattern out of the scales the way they're gonna go so let me get the camera set up and I'll get started on this okay I am set up here now and in the past I've used this saw I've got a smaller one than this, but I've used this saw blade to cut the slot. And this thing's kind of sketchy to use. It works, but it's it'll jump out quick, and it's just a little sketchy to use. So when I bought this Fordham, it came with this little this little bit here. That's just a drum coarse bit. It's not even coarse. It's probably more like a medium, and it's just the right width this way and it's also going to be about the right depth so I'm, it'll cut it all at one time so and I've started just a little bit of a groove here just to kind of get the uh, get the groove started to keep it in track That's much easier than that saw blade. One thing you want to do too is when you draw this line for the slots is to look, make sure you look at it down the top and make sure it's lined up with the top of the body. Cause I've done a couple that were just off center just a little bit. And it doesn't really show from the side, but looking straight down the fish you can kind of tell so i'm on i was a little more careful this time and center making sure that line was center there and i'm not going all the way to i had marks on here i don't know if you can still see them did i mark the fin i'm not going to go all the way to those marks i'm going to kind of sneak up on it just so that i don't overcut. And what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the depth that it is from the shaft to the end of the to the end of the bit, which is about maybe a little over an eighth of an inch deep. So there's that slot. What I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna cut this slot down to the width of the bit, maybe just slightly bigger so it'll be a good tight fit. And I'm just gonna go right down the edge of it 
just a little I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time to where that it to where it fits that slot so I'm gonna have to do this slow and easy What I need to do also is I need to round round the edge of that because that bit is round. So I want the the slot is rounded. So I'm going to round this over a little bit. I know that's not enough, but I'm going to check it, and I'll keep checking it till. oh, that was just about perfect. It needs to go deeper. Width-wise, it's perfect. draw on that center line and then I'm gonna look at it make sure it looks straight Gonna do a little shallow groove first. Going deeper each time. I don't think I might steam this one. I think I can, uh, I think this one will fit. I think there's enough play, enough give in the fan that I can make it fit.
Yeah. Some coyotes. All right, I feel it bottoming out somewhere. I think it's back here at the back, so I'm going to take a little bit more off here. I know what it is. This is still flat. And... Alright, here's what's going on. This is still flat and hard. And this is rounded, so I need to make this kind of rounded also to fit in that groove better. So I'm just going to, if you see that, I'm just kind of going off the edge and chamfering that edge just a little bit to round that over. Almost perfect. You know, I may not have to, uh, I may not have to steam that. That's fitting pretty good. I'm not going to have to steam that. That's fitting in there pretty nice. What I was able to do is carve a little bit more in here and a little more on the outside edges so it gives it that bend that I need that fits a little bit tighter. Again, there's a little bit of a gap there, but I'll I'll smooth out all the in with the uh, epoxy putty. All right. So now I've got to figure out the placement for the pectoral fins and the uh, pelvic fins. And I need to look at some reference pictures, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got... Where I've looked at my reference photos and pattern. And I've located where I'm going to put the uh, pectoral... Might need to be a little bit higher on this side. I could kind of see where I drew that. 
looking straight down at it like this and then the pelvic fins will go in little slots up here so in off camera I went ahead and cut the uh, the fins apart and I just used a little saw blade to cut those apart so you know what I need to do now is I need to shape these closer to what they're going to be in in the slot now I just need to figure out how I'm going to cut that slot. I think I'm going to do it with um, with the same tool and just go in it at an angle and just start off shallow. Okay, I've got the um, fin placement drawn on and off camera I cut the fins apart and I just used that saw I was showing you a while ago to cut them in two so what I got to do now is um, just decide on which fin I want to go on what side and then cut the tabs for these and the slots for these so I just need to look at it and try to decide which angle. Let's see, this is going to be the show side. And I think I want this fin on this side out at about that angle I can't decide if I need to cut shape the tabs on these first uh, before I cut these I think I will I think I'm gonna shape the tabs and I don't know if that's the right way but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna shape the tabs on these first, and then uh, and on the on the pelvic and the pectoral fins, and then I will uh, cut the slots for them. So let me get my sander on this. I got the um, I got the pelvic fins a rough shape. I'm, I may refine them down a little bit more as I get closer, and I'm going to do the pelvic fins now. I'm gonna hold them together. I don't know if this is gonna work, but. Kind of hold them together, then do the shape at the same time on both of them, so, so that they're both the same. These pelvic fin ends may be too long, so I may have to cut those down a little bit. But I'm gonna leave them long like that for right now until I get the until I get the slots cut. And I'm gonna start on the non. I'm gonna start on the side that that's um, gonna be away from the main view, just in case I mess it up. <laughs> so again, I'm just gonna go slow.
And I'm cutting on the back side, the back side of my mark. take these back a little bit and I'll do that with a drum sander here. I wish I had a foot pedal for my Dremel too. I may, I may look into getting me one. Again, this is just a this is just a slow sneak up on it, fit and finish. These are hard to hard to fit. Getting closer. I think I like that angle. Turn this off a minute. I think I like that angle, that little bit of a flare there. But it needs to go in just a little bit more. I cut just a little bit of a groove out here. That kind of helps that fin lay back in on the body a little bit. I need to cut, I need to come down a little bit shallower here, a little bit. All right, I think that's gonna be good there. Turn this off. So you can kind of see what the process of that is. So I'll do the same thing on the other side and on the pelvic fans as well. It'll just be a cut the slot and then just slowly shape that tab to fit. And then that'll get glued in, in place there. And, um, and I'll transition this spot here with a little bit of epoxy putty okay i'm going to stop this here because um, i've already gone too long in, so i'm going to pick up in. in part seven burning the scale zone so i appreciate y'all watching and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and uh i'll be back on part seven to burn the scales